everybody so we are uh, doing uh, what we want to do is to make a Caesar cipher here so if you if you have uh, looked at on the Wikipedia we have this is a cipher this cipher is, is used in cryptography and it's nothing else so if you see this this, this is the main uh, image which shows what the Caesar cipher is so alphabets go from A B C D up to Z and Caesar cipher is where it does it, it takes a key and if let's say for for example key is one so it will shift the uh, alphabet to one left side so if if it is E and key is one E will be become uh, B so right now like here one two three is my key so my key is three so E became B. If my key was 1, E will become D. So that was uh, all. And uh, so it has like Wikipedia has uh, this whole uh, Wikipedia has this article which you can read about what the cipher is. Also, it has the history and usage and examples here. The example is again, uh, it also gives some formula like you, you see. Uh, this is alphabets and uh, the, so they what they are using is a shift to 23 so the key is 23 so that's for how it became and these are the formulas so if you give an alphabet character x x plus n n is the key and you do mod 26 mod 26 uh, where does 26 is number of alphabets we have and if you have x plus n and if it, even if it goes over 26 the mod 26 will make sure like it goes within uh, under 26 or say so the value always remains under 27 so we will do and I will also show you how why mod is here so I had a code I made a code here so you can see this so we have plain text we take some message from a uh, user input and we keep an alphabet and so this is a string from a to z all in small and we have a key you can call this as your key this is my key and we have cipher a uh, string which is empty right now so we have for loop so for c in plain text so for c is in this plain text if c in alphabet means that if c is one of these alphabets in one of the do this what this is exactly what the formula was in the Wikipedia that cipher plus alphabet so alphabet you see the square brackets this these are this this means that in this alphabet you are taking this as a list and you are taking one uh, one item in this uh, thing so uh, one number in this list so alphabet dot index of C so index of C means whatever the uh, first character comes you take the index of that so this will give you a number then you add the key here so now we have key not k so key you add the key to that number and then take the mod this first sign in python is for modulus mod take the mod with the length of alphabet so length of alphabet is 26 so then you will print your encrypted messages cipher plus f so if i control s save and run this ask me what is your message into your message i say hello my key is already one here if i hit enter it gives me a message ifmmp this is my message so this is i am encrypting with cipher uh, with the Caesar cipher so here even if I try to make it 27 so 27 here 27 plus key 1 and take the modulus so it 27 plus 1 will be 28 28 becomes out of the limit of this so like for example here my hello H became I because I have one I had 1 plus here so that's why uh, if I make it 27 key as 27 and one uh, 
this h index of h plus 27 will go out of this limit here so in order to keep it inside this limit i will mod 27 uh, mod 20, uh, this value with 27 with the 26 and if i have a calculator here i can you can see the counter the if i have 27 plus 1 plus 1 is 28 and if i this is the mod button mod 26 my value is 2 so whatever my value will be like for 27 it will add 2 to it so h will become i j so it, it will again become 20 actually i did the calculation wrong my key was 27 and index is let's say 1 so means that 27 is my key so 27 plus 1 1 will be the key here so I will be doing 27 mod 26 so this is 1 so I will only increase add 1 to it so h will become i again so it 27 and 1 will not make a difference so even if I control s here and f5 and say hello again you see my code is exactly the same because 27 made the 27 mod 26 is 1 which is same as q1 but if I sorry if I make this as let's say 23 which is within 26 so if I run now and I say hello my uh, encrypted code has become a different and now let's say so this was uh, if MPP I remember this so I was just trying to show that if my key is 1 and I'm instead of encrypting I'm decrypting it so I have to do minus here scroll s 5 what is my encrypted code if mmp I got hello back so I got decrypted right but normally if the key is not known you will have to run a for loop like hold this hole into for loop which will be for 26 or like uh, that for loop will run for 1 to 26 and it will decipher it for all the 26 values this was small uh, very simple code for the scissor cipher you can make it complex you can make one uh, make it in, into a function and one function for encrypting and one function for decrypting but you can do it but this was the main uh, very simple see the cipher hopefully it helped thank you